Hi, welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to do the correct adjustment of the ignition cutoff on a DD2. So let's get to it. Okay, some of the tools required for this job is a set of verniers, some feeler gauges, and a T27 tool. Okay, so the correct gap for the ignition cut screw is 1 to 1.5 millimeters, and you can find that on the Rotax website and there's a link just here. So, um, once you've read up on that, I'm going to show you how to adjust it using some feeler gauges and a T27 Torx bit screwdriver. Okay, so we're using some digital calipers and some feeler gauges. It's a simple way to make sure you've got the right size. And I'm just going to measure that here. And I've set the, these ones, these feeler gauges are now set to 1.23 millimeters which is roughly halfway through what Rotax recommends to use for the adjustment of the screw. Okay, so this is the uh, ignition cutting screw, and that's a T27 Torx bit. You could also remove the wheel and just use a normal screwdriver in here, otherwise just grab a little ratchet. Um, I've got my feeler gauges here, and I'm just gonna insert them between the head of the screw there and the ignition cut screw, and then I'm just gonna ratchet this guy in until it just, I can just feel it touch there. Okay, and it's probably just a fraction tight. And then, I'm just gonna back it off until I can squeeze those guys just in there. It's just tight. Okay, so if that's too loose, like you can flop it all around inside the screw there, it's too loose, and then if you can't get it in, it's too tight. And I've set it at the mid-range point, remember, at 1.25 millimeters. And that's it. That's as simple as it is. So that's how you adjust the electronic ignition cutoff on a Rotax Max DD2. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic, or find us at www.powerrepublic.com.au. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.